I don't, I don't want you to get caught in the trap of thinking that just going to church with your spouse actually solves anything. Like if that's the way you're trying to capture awe with your wife or your husband, forget it, because that's not gonna work. However, couples that pray together, that have that awe experience before the Lord together, the divorce rate plummets. One of the most amazing days of my life was the day my first son was born. It was incredible. And I remember walking into the delivery room and having little awareness of what was about to happen. I had no clue. I knew we were about to have our first baby, but I really didn't know what effect that little baby boy would have on me. And I remember I held him in my arms in that recovery room and I looked directly in his eyes and something spectacular happened. I suddenly felt something I had never felt in my entire life. It was this deep sense of humility and, and gratefulness combined with an enormous hope for what my son's future might hold. And to be honest, I was scared to death. <laughs> I was terrified because I had no idea what to expect or, or what might happen next. It didn't seem right to me that I had to take a test and study to get a driver's license, to drive a car on the road, but they were gonna let me take this little boy out of the hospital and take him home having talked to no one. No one cleared me, no one gave me a license for this. It was ridiculous. And so the combination of all that humility and gratefulness and hope and even fear is probably de best described as the experience of awe the awe experience, that personal sense of wonder we feel in the presence of something vast that transcends our previous experience and understanding of the world, just totally transcends everything we've ever known before. The experience of awe can come in response to lots of different kinds of activities, and it usually involves things that are vast in physical space or maybe it's really old, you ever looked at an old building and just kind of been in awe of it? How many of you have looked at a complex thing and said, I don't know how they do that. I look at my phone sometimes and I'm like, how am I FaceTiming with someone across the world? It, 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 it produces the sense of awe in me. So basically, awe happens when you encounter something so enormous that it, you don't feel like you can even wrap your mind around it. You can experience awe in response to spiritual experiences, art, music, the feeling of being intensely connected to other people, or even the complexities and joy of holding your newborn little boy in your arms. Now the research is building and starting to demonstrate the benefits of awe go far beyond the moment. A recent study found that experiencing a sense of awe promotes lots of positive health benefits. It lowers inflammation in your body. It decreases chronic illness. So experiencing a sense of awe actually makes you healthier. It increases your cognitive functioning. I think that's amazing. It actually makes you smarter, more intelligent. It increases a sense of altruism and loving kindness towards others because awe encourages us to abandon self-interest and improve the welfare of everyone around us. When people feel awe, they feel smaller, they feel less self-important, less self-addicted, and simply act kinder towards one another. That's why it's incredibly important that you and your spouse pursue the experience of awe together. This is something that needs to be on the forefront of your mind. How are we gonna get in a situation that induces awe together? Let's talk about one of the best ways you can do this as a believing couple, as Christians. Of course, it's prayer. Of course, there is no greater awe than being in the presence of a God that is bigger than we are. Now, I, don't, I don't want you to get caught in the trap of thinking that just going to church with your spouse actually solves anything. Like if that's the way you're trying to capture awe with your wife or your husband, forget it, because that's not gonna work. However, couples that pray together, that have that awe experience before the Lord together, the divorce rate, plummets, especially when you pray together every day. So it's clear, right? 
you need to pursue awe in your relationship. If you want to have a close relationship with your spouse that allows you to surrender yourself and lay yourself down for your spouse, pursue the experience of awe together. Get out in nature together, you know, learn how to paint together, practice an instrument or play an instrument with one another, listen to worship music together, and if you do one thing, pray together.